Search and Destroy Strategy Showdown Offense. Keep in mind this is not one continuous game. It is only meant to show you one or two possible pathways you can take of thousands available. Alright, I just want to go over a couple of things before we uh, show the clip here. Actually, the first two clips are pretty quick. 99.99% of the time, I'm going to rush to be on this. And it's the same as sort of in defense. In order to do that, uh, you want to get through that opening and to the right as fast as possible. Because usually someone on the other side is throwing a grenade. And if you're carrying an assault rifle or anything else or not extreme, uh, there's a good chance you're going to eat it on that side. Uh, so you want an SMG as per usual. Yes, I know that's all I use. Great variety and uh, extreme conditioning and that's going to get you through there again if you stumble in if you're another player is actually in the tunnel with you and you stumble a lot i would actually hold short because that stumbling may end up making you eat a grenade on the other side so just be aware of that um and in this one here i don't really mention in the uh, defense but you don't want to use the same strategy twice in a row because they change it up it's so such a small map it's easy to switch up the other strategy like the other team and compensate for what you did this is going to be a rush and if you did a rush and you did it successfully you don't want to do the rush again necessarily because someone's likely going to actually chuck a grenade uh, from the ground level up and you're going to eat that so just be aware of that anyway so we're going to run through here straight to the right straight up and we're not going to hesitate we're going to go straight to the very end and nail two guys and then that's going to be the end of this round here all right like i mentioned if you were successful on the rush for the last of the the previous round i would not recommend rushing you can do it and sometimes you get away with it but if the other team is even half way intelligent one of them is going to throw a grenade up in there sort of to hopefully catch you as you're trying to run through there so just be aware of that again you can try it but chances are you're going to want to switch it up so instead of rushing we're going to actually hold short we're going to try and set up some uh, defenses up there but we're not going to go blasting through um, even in the area where I set up defense is a little bit dangerous. Sometimes you want to even hold uh, short than that. But you want to. I'm setting up claymores, and I chuck a grenade in anticipation of them actually rushing. All right, so we're gonna go through the tunnel again. We're the first person, straight to the right, straight up. And yeah, so you could set up a claymore actually on this side. I set it up here. I think that was my teammate's claymore uh, grenade rather. But uh, anyway, if it wasn't, then I could have eaten that one. Then I throw the grenade, but I set up the claymore down here because I, when I'm up there, I don't want to be worrying about another dude. All right, so we're going to back off here. I'm just going to quickly pause it. I just wanted to point out two things quickly. You notice I sprayed a lot at the top there. I killed the one dude, but I kept on spraying. The reason why I did that, there was a lot of smoke. I wasn't sure if there was another uh enemy player up there so I'd rather spray and if I had the hit detector I'd know to switch to my handgun and hopefully finish him off and then I'd back down here not because I was worried about someone actually coming up from the stairs I mean they could but I had the claymore and hopefully that would kill him but more or less to back off while I'm reloading I don't want someone rushing me at the top and me standing there while I'm reloading so always try and remove yourself uh, from the area and take some sort of cover when you're reloading but then I return up there uh, to actually finish off the last guy. Alright, we're gonna rush through again. We're gonna actually, this is a one where we're gonna hold short. I'm gonna set a claymore up on this stairway here so I don't feel like I'm gonna get flanked. Cook a grenade just in case anyone's rushing. And notice there I paused just before I placed the claymore there. You always want to make sure there's no one rushing on that side. So I was ready to fire there. I didn't see anyone there. So... I planted the claymore and I see one guy here finish that guy up now I duck behind here you notice I'm taking some cover I mean it's still a little bit dangerous if he had a grenade he probably would have killed me but uh, we decided to rush now the bomb gets planted on the other side so you know I want to protect that bomb I set up a claymore which I have one left thankfully and I'm able to protect my flank so I can concentrate on looking forward here I feel secure in that and that's why I love claymores I can concentrate and I just hold straight forward some guy runs through the smoke we nail that guy and then I stay on the side I assume actually the dude was coming from that area there but then all of a sudden I hear him and I know he's coming up this way so I just wait I got a claymore then I gun him down with the mp5 likely wounded by the claymore thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it for more strategies and tactics on modern warfare and world at war visit nextgentactics.com